Hi and welcome to my KSP tutorial set. In this KSP tutorial I will show you the basic functions and usage of um, Infernal Robotics and CAS, the Kerbal Attachment System. And in this video I will show you how you can set up your key bindings in, for the server configuration. So you can use them later in the 3D world. The first thing I do is placing some uh, gantry rails in symmetry and VTOL rotors. By the way, I want to apologize for my bad English skills. Um, I hope that you understand at least everything. Um, but if you still have some question, something is not clear, uh, then just leave me a comment. I will definitely read and answer it. It is easier for me to read and write English and then to speak English. It's uh, <laughs> It makes me nose bleeding, really. Okay, the first thing you see now is um, on the right side a window named Servo Configuration. Um, in the newest version you can collapse or expand it for a better overview. That's very nice. So in the first line you see the group name. Um, in the second there is the servo name with gantry rail, gantry rail, new IR rotor and so on. And if you highlight, if you hover your mouse over the names, it will highlight the parts on your rocket. So you always know where you add the parts on your rocket. Okay, the first thing is we separating the VTOL rotor from the gantry rails because we don't want to move them both synchron. Um, for that we add the new group and then we are moving the rotors down to the second group, the new group 2. So we have two groups now, a uh, new group 1 with the gantry rails and new group 2 with the IR rotors or VTOL rotors. Now we rename group 1 and group 2. So later in the 3D world we can easier see um, which group controls what parts. In this case I simply call the first group rails and the second group ro rotoren. I'm sorry that's German. Uh, means rotors. And on the right side of the group names is uh, there are two small fields named keys. And that is how we set up the key bindings for Infernal Robotics. <clears throat> the left field is for one direction, like forward, and the right field is for the other direction, like backward. So we can move the part um, forward and backward with those two keys that we set here now. In that case, we probably would have a conflict to the action groups because we use one, two, three, four, and so on. To prevent this issue, I personally uh, set the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and so on for some regular actions like extend solar panel or turn on and off the engines, uh, while I use higher numbers like six, seven, eight, nine for the servo configuration. Of course you don't need to set uh, the keys as numbers. Um, you can use almost all keys on your keyboard, but you have to keep in mind that it may have conflict to another key binding of KSP. And we don't even need to set the key bindings in the configuration window. Uh, we can set it also in the action groups. So first we remove the keys again and then go to action groups and then we set the keys like we do it for any other part in KSP. We first choose the part and then we go to selection and then we cl click on move plus or on move minus 
in that example I set the key 1 to move plus and key 2 to move minus. And the action groups are give us some more functionality. We can also set uh, functions that we can set in the server configuration like engage lock. This will lock the part in the current state uh, when we press the key to lock it in that uh, position. And we also can toggle the UI and that means the small servo control window in the 3D world. We can uh, turn on and off or collapse and extend. Okay, that's all. That's how you group the servos in the servo configuration. And that is how you bind your shortcuts. And the next video I upload will be um, the CAS tutorial part one, uh, where I show you how you can load and unload your boxes uh, to pick up some parts and bring them to another plan planet or what else. Um, okay, that's all for now. Bye bye and I hope you like it.